you guys don't see that, you don't see what's behind the eyes of like the catfish. We go through a lot of pain and we express ourselves in different ways. I totally feel you on that, but I'm gonna tell you right now, nobody gives a f about your pain when you come like this with the theatrics. Okay, that's, that, that sounds great, but I was talking to Neve. Like, well, that's okay. and, right. right, well, well look. I'm talking to you now. Right. So well, look, what I mean, I'm I, well, saying, I was talking to Neve, what I'm so saying I still stands. You're lucky that saying. you're talking on the show at all, again. The problem is that I think you're a clown, and I think that your behavior is clown behavior. Uh, this mother is crazy. At any moment, Jordan might just join the Zoom. Oh. Hello, who's there? Oh. Hi. Who is this guy? Oh, what the hell? Oh. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Just casually sits down. This is, wait, just a, hold on a second. It can't be this simple. No, 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 no. Oh, okay, Jordan, that's you, right? Uh, it's me, completely me. <laughs> so, hello. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. Hello. Um, so can you explain why where, why it took this long to meet up and why we are even involved when it doesn't seem that we need to be? Uh, honestly, I would say over the last, what, over the last decade, um, a lot of growth, a lot of growth between me and Kay. And I would say that I never really had enough time, you know? Um, I've been busy focusing on myself in regards to investments and stocks. So it's really my goal to like, make sure that I have financial freedom. And I never had time to balance a relationship and then try to go after my goals as well. It, it just didn't mix up as well together. Okay. Uh, so, so you say we didn't leave because of your job, right? That would be correct. Due to, you know, trying to get to the next step in finances for sure. Okay, I'm trying to get to the next step in finances as well but I'm mm -hmm. still sitting here trying to make time for you, so. Um, I would say in regards to like pursuing things, I feel like, you know, we've only gone so far, mainly because we haven't seen each other. Well, but she's tried to, right? Um, yes, Kaylin has tried, but um, I've been very busy. I would say for those reasons, you know, it's unmotivating, I should say. I don't know, you seem pretty motivated in your text messages to Kaylin about being with her, giving her some having sex with her. You can't meet up with her for an afternoon in Orlando or get on a FaceTime call? So the best way to put it is literally, once again, um, I've been very busy. In regards to meeting up, it was completely out of the question because I work six days a week. So there's no way for me to just go ahead and take a flight to wherever she is. No, I know, but you said when she came to Orlando, you said we'll meet up. Well, are you in Orlando is the question. So currently, I'm in Orlando right now. Yes, I just feel like we never, we never really planned it out. We did plan it. Okay, so we did plan it, but once again, though, like me being busy, I feel like it just wasn't able to work out. So you can't give me like five minutes of your time, even with a, like a, a quick FaceTime call. I'm pretty sure if you work six days a week, um, you have a day off. Sometimes I don't feel like I have enough time for my own family. So it's not just you. It's not. Right. So, and you- Even even though, sorry, Nick. Even though I work 12 hours a day, seven days a week on some Sundays, with three kids, you still don't have one second for me? I mean, when you put it like that, it sounds, it sounds crazy. But overall, from my work schedule, it just doesn't work out. Okay, and I think when we called you earlier, uh, it sounded like a girl answered the phone. Yeah, that's just my friend. Okay. Does so that something you do often? Have what do you mean? a friend answer the phone? I was just curious. In this case, it, it was a woman. Well, I mean, at the time she picked up the phone, so there's not much to say. It's not something that's regular. But if she's gonna answer your phone, and then I come on and say, hey, is Jordan there? Wouldn't the next thing you'd say be, yeah, hold on, or, or who's calling, or? We said Jordan or Taj. Right, so I even said that, So she would probably right. know you by either name, and 
still hung up the phone. So, I mean, I'm not sure when you guys called, but at the time, I just was not there. That's the best way to explain it. I want you to be real with me. Yeah. I feel like I've been real, but in certain areas, I haven't been transparent with you. Yeah, that sounds like bull You've had a relationship with Kaylin for 12 years. It's OK to tell her the truth about what's been going on. So let me talk. You done? No, we're not done until you tell us who that girl on the phone really was. I guess you could say the girl who answered the phone is like my girlfriend. Finally, the truth comes out. You understand how, like, all of this sounds. Like, it sounds really bad. It wouldn't sound bad if you just told me straight up. When were you going to tell her that you had a girlfriend? Oh, uh, hmm. well, honestly, we just made things official maybe like a month ago. So, I mean, I probably wasn't going to say anything for some time, honestly, like. So you got time, is what you're saying? Nah, I don't have time. You're so smart, then you sound so. Don't. The, the vibe you're giving off right now is like, hey, uh, you know, I, I've been busy. Sorry, I'm just, I work so hard. You know, I gotta get that money. But like, yeah. but even if that's true, it still makes you sound like an asshole because you're the one who's made it seem as though you're very interested in her and wanted more of a relationship. But I guess you didn't really ever think you were gonna meet up with her anyway, so it was just sort of fun. So I'm so happy that you said that last point because that goes for most people that I meet in the virtual world. So with that being said, how many other people are you talking to the way that you're talking to Kaylin? Uh, that's tough to say. <laughs> you gotta think. Honestly, what? like, maybe three. You have four relationships going on right now. I'm sorry, but the numbers sound so misconstrued. I would say... I think it's basic math. Sounds basic to me. Three plus one equals four. Mm. Mm. Okay, look. I don't know what to tell you, sweetie. This ain't gonna work out. I'm gonna tell you that right now. It's not gonna happen. I would, I would rather him be somebody else. Maybe you guys caught like an asshole vibe from me. But I'm sure you guys have run into the situations as to where you put something on pause and then you maybe came back to it in the future. We've all done it, so. Which would all be well and good if you just relayed that information to Kaylin instead of talking about marriage and children and wanting to put a baby inside of her. I feel like right now things don't align up for us to be together. Because you have three kids and um, I don't see myself like actually tying down and being the stepfather role, regardless, to be truthful with you. I, I don't know, but I think that's a really great way for me to explain it. I have a headache. I just feel like you sound like every guy that's out here. And I looked at you different. Every other guy wants to don't want to be there for me and my children. Don't bring my kids in it. If you already knew that you didn't have no future with me, don't make my kids the excuse. You should have just been real as far as uh, not putting things in my head as to think there is a future. You got a girl? I want you to focus on that. If you want for girls not to think that you're an asshole, don't be giving off that boy energy. Don't make promises that you know you can't keep and don't say anything that you don't actually mean. Don't start telling girls that you want to put a baby up inside them when you don't want to do that. If you are inside of a woman and you have the feeling, I want to put a baby in her, pull the <laughs> out. Pull out immediately. Right. Pull out immediately. Get out. Kaylin, anything you want to say to Jordan right now before we say goodbye to him? Um, you have a lot of growing to do. You grew, but you have a lot of growing to do. OK. Hey, thank you, guys. Have a great day. Mwah. OK. Me too. Mwah. Did he do that? <laughs> this sound? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Every time we smoke, that's no. all I heard. Blah, 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 blah. Why could he have been the woman? Jesus. I'm going to let him realize that I was the best bet. Yeah, and he will at some point and guess what? realize that. Even if he doesn't, you go about your life with your family and keep creating the future that you want. I added a little. What's going on? Hi.
Who the hell are you? Tony. Tony? Yeah. Huh. So, are you the person who's been Micah this whole time? Yeah. Wow. Mm. Interesting. Are you being for real? Yeah. Do you live in Detroit? No. Wait, if you don't live in Detroit, how did you have Micah's profile on Tinder in Detroit? I was in Detroit. Well, you were in Detroit, okay. But you don't live in Detroit. Do you live in Michigan? Mm-hmm. Okay, so you're in the area. Okay, got it. Do you know a Cassandra Reed? Because that's the name that comes up when we ran your phone number. No. Are you a f subscriber to the real Micah's OnlyFans? I was. I kind of used her to make it seem a little more real, you know. It's actually, you know, a lesson. A lesson. Lesson? A lesson for who? My good man right here. It's a lesson for all the guys who own there. Man, you can't be sending money to these girls, to anybody on Snapchat, anybody you ain't never met in person or anything like that. If I, if I wouldn't have got you, somebody would have got you, you know. It's going to get, it's going to uh, happen. Interesting lesson you thought you would uh, teach. It's quite surprising. That Was it really surprising, though, bro? A uh, little bit, because I, I, I believe the story that was given to me, you know? Oh, you must be new on her. So have you used the Micah profile and, and, and Snapchat to like talk to lots of other guys? That ain't the only girl I use, no. Oh, okay, so you have- Use plenty of girls. But have you talked to any other guys the way you've talked to Ryan? What you mean? Well, I mean, you, we, Ryan sent you 500 bucks. Oh, yeah. So are there other people sending you money too? Yeah. Wow. So wait, why when I called, was it a girl voice at one time? Oh, I had a girl answer. It was a couple of girls that I had talked to, you know. And do you cut them in on the on the cash? Of course. So you got like and a whole you, little this operation. This is like a business. I mean, I wouldn't call it a business. A lot of people do it, man. And how long have you been doing this? I don't know. So a long time. I didn't say that. So how long? I just said I don't know. Are you into guys? Never. But you're having sexual conversations with men in order to lure them to send you money? I'm a dude, I know what I know what a dude wants, you know? But what kind of lesson are you teaching him if you're also accepting the money? Don't you think that you're just as at fault as he is? I bet you it won't happen to him again. Don't send him some money. I should be a good guy because I'm coming out. Ain't nobody else gonna come out and tell y'all this. If you really wanted to teach Ryan a lesson, you know, you could have had him send you 50 bucks and then you could have said, hey, just so you know, I'm a, like, got you, but you kept it going and you probably would have kept it going longer if, you know, we weren't stopping it now. So like- But y'all ain't, ain't asked me like my whole plan, what I'm trying, what I'm gonna do and stuff. I'm gonna pay the dude back. You can shoot me your cash app. I'm gonna send you that right back, you know? Can we do that now? So, I mean- so, Yeah, can you do it it's now? It's a lesson. No, we can't do it right now. You know, I'm a good dude. You know, it's just, it's a, it's a harmless scam. But you stole $500 from him. <laughs> It's not harmless. You're putting the girl in the actual photos and videos at risk. That's where I have an listen, issue. Listen, because listen. Say, say Ryan was crazy and ran into her somewhere and was like, hey, like you took this money from me, you never showed up. Now I'm gonna f you up. Now you put Micah, the real Micah, at risk. Girls put their self at risk when they post pictures of they self in the news. Period. Do you have kids? Don't worry about that. Well, I hope that you don't have daughters because if you do and somebody were to take advantage of them like that, I'm sure you would have an issue with that. My daughter won't be posting no pictures like that. There's so many guys taking these girls' pictures, making fake pages, doing all type of stuff. So you have to contribute? If I want to. That's so f***ed up. <laughs> That's so f***ed up. Where I'm at with these females, like now, like my baby mama that did so much to me, you know, a lot of girls that did a lot of a lot of to me, man. These hoes. You know what I'm saying? Like, that is the most disgusting thing I have ever heard in my life. This lady right here, man, you a mother. I am. You're damn straight. That I is hope a you fact. don't got no pics up like that. Absolutely not. But even if I did, that would be my choice and my prerogative as a woman. Who are you to tell women that they should expect to have their photos taken and shared to lure men for money? You're pissing me off. I do not mind at all. I think she's upset in yeah, a way she that a I... Hey, hey, bad mouthing her isn't going to help anything. Like I said, man, I came out, came clean. I mean... 
Hey, Micah. Who the hell? Y'all tricked me. <laughs> so you really was into this. This was this was not just for fun. You wanted this money, you got a kick out of it. I don't know how many other girls you doing, but you using my face though. Like, it's one thing for me to do it, but I'm doing it knowing, knowing that I'm doing it. I'm not a hoe. Really? So if you wouldn't have been involved in the show, you wouldn't have came clean, because you keep saying, okay, I came clean, but you wouldn't have came clean if the show wouldn't have been involved. Like, look, real talk, when you doing like that, you know it's kind of expected. Like, if you don't know that little scam, everybody, that's that's little scam so old. You had to take his money, though. Like, I don't, I'm not understanding. I'm gonna pay him back, though. That's, what is he gonna take, your word? Everybody do. It's really nothing. What's nothing though? Like what? What's what? You keep saying it's nothing. So many people do that. It's like it ain't. I don't see how y'all not thanking me. It should be like, damn, bro, you a real for so coming you feel clean like, you like, like that. Superman, because you taught him a lesson, but you took his money. What you are saying is hypocritical. I ain't talking to you. I'm not talking to you. You might as well get back off, bro. Go on, head on, bro. Real talk. I don't give a. Wait a second. If you did something wrong, like you gotta, you gotta take some heat, man. You can't just sit there and, and say, "Oh, I don't wanna, I don't wanna talk to her." If she's taking the time to talk to you at all, you could learn a lot from her. Maybe try listening and, and see what she has to say. As a woman, I cannot condone what has been going on because I think that you are putting women at risk. So I have to speak on behalf of that. But I think that you are taking it a certain kind of way because it's a woman asking you versus Neve asking you, but you don't have to respond. I think your silence is enough answer. You need to rethink your attitude towards women. You refer to girls on OnlyFans as hoes and they deserve it. It's just like basic respect. Cammy's trying to talk to you about some up you did. And you were like, you know what, forget it. I don't want to have that conversation. And you shut her down. And I don't know if that's because you didn't like the word she was using, or if that's because she's a woman, or if that's because... Yeah, she a female. You're a f douchebag. There's this thing called morality, and clearly it's something that you lack. Yeah, I don't even know what that means. Clearly, you should Google it. Yeah. All right, Ryan, anything from you? Uh, played me, got me, lesson learned, all that Uh, You said you'll pay me back, we'll see. That's really all I gotta say. <laughs> PSC, bro. <laughs> All right. I don't know if there's anything else uh, that I, I need to say. I ain't got no more talk either. Bye. Bye. Let me tell Is it? I'm just going to just. <laughs> that person has zero respect for women, for human beings. He lacks empathy. He wasn't trying to teach a lesson, he was trying to get paid. He's a scammer, he was just scamming people. There's a car pulling in. Wait, it's what we get out. Oh my God, this some bullshit. Oh Hello. Hi. Hi. Hi, Ashley, how are ya? I'm good. Nice to meet you. Neve. Cammy. It is Ashley. Yeah. Right. How'd it go getting in? I'm good. Had you been to LA before? No. You've never been to LA? I said no. I thought you were just here doing hair <laughs> for work. Okay, I'm gonna talk to you. Okay. Oh, oh me then. <laughs> That's fine. I'm sorry, I was just trying to make some small talk because right. I'm assuming you're nervous. Anyway, we figured out that a lot of the profiles that Red has been talking to for the past six years are fake. Mm -hmm. We're assuming you're behind most or, or all of them. Mm -hmm. No one else is involved? No. OK, so Shekinah, Tamar. Me, 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 me. Right, I just want to make sure I know all of them. How many, uh -huh. are there some that we don't even know about? Well, yeah. And are you doing this to anybody else? Of course. Oh, my god. I just want to know why. Like, why? <laughs> what was the purpose? It just started. Why? You hopped in my inbox first. Who, Delisa's? Because I don't even know you. 
Well, wait, who, when you say... And I didn't hop in nobody's inbox. You did, though. As Jaleesa, was it Jaleesa? No, you hopped in Shekinah's inbox first. Oh, see? You're not Shekinah. You skippity, skip, skip, hopped. But why? You did the bunny rabbit and you hopped. You hopped your ass in there. Okay. Really? Really? Don't flip this on me, because you did this. Attitude. I'm, I'm going to talk to you, because he's he the host. Gonna you to help me. Wow. You are the one who is impersonating okay, other people on the it's internet. Show, not but yours. I'm talking hey. to you. It's and our therefore, show okay, you well, are here, I'm talking to here on our show with our <sighs> cameras. Okay. If you, you call actually... me a bitch one more time, we're going to have a serious problem. So let's be respectful. Yeah. Jesus. Look, if you keep speaking to her that way, then you won't get the chance to speak to any of us. OK. Do you have kids? No. Are you married? No. We just happened to notice on your Facebook page that we found that it says you are married. I Actually, was married. Okay. We're just trying oh, to find out more about you. We're trying to figure out the truth. Okay, Eve. Just Ooh, tell us who you are so we know, like, what is real and what isn't. This is me. Like, how old are you? 24. 24. Okay. And you live in Texas. Yes, I do. So if you're 24 now, that means you started these when you were like, when did you first start? Like 12 years old. Well, okay, so what? your first fake profile when you were 12. Yeah. Whoa, okay. How did you come across Jaleesa? Jaleesa, because she's a real uh, person. Instagram. Okay, because she's not really famous. No, we, right. we're just friends on Instagram. You Got know it. her personally. Oh, I do, yeah. You have met her in person. Oh, my God. No, we know. Okay. We follow each other. Yes. We know some of these same people. Uh-huh. That's it. If you break it down a little slower, I might be able to understand you even better. Okay. You seem uh, uh, upset. I'm, I'm a blunt person. This is my personality. This is how I am. It's, this is not between blunt. being blunt and being respectful, and you're being very I'm disrespectful. Being respectful. No, you're not. You're, no, you're not. not. You're being very you're really disrespectful. Not. You came up here disrespectful. How? Look how you talking to her. This bird want to hop in this Why conversation. Why she got to be a bird? Well, bok bok, bitch. Why here she got to be a bird? Because she, yes. she's calling you on your OK, do you have any more questions, Neve? I'm not talking to these two right now. So what are we going to do when this girl doesn't come outside? Because that's oh God, Thanksgiving. Hi. Hello. Are you guys here filming an episode, or oh, are you yeah. here with last year's catfish? No, we did we're... an episode in, did in we? Spokane. Right around the Wait, was that the one last year? I'm trying to think. He lives I... around here, not that Who far away. Who lives around here? I think his name is Isaac. Isaac. Ah. Hi, guys. Oh Isaac my. was the one with the hotel. Wait. No. With the, with the Sorry, yes. you guys, I gotta go to work. Hold on. Oh, you work here? Yeah, yeah I oh, do. Oh, okay. Yeah. Anyway, thanks. That, yeah. the Isaac was the one who had the friend time. come on camera. I just wanted to say that I wanted to apologize. Yes! Well, that... Yes, the woman. He had the woman right. come on well, camera. Like, who is that woman that was just talking to us? Uh, that, that wasn't her talking. That was me. Oh, that was you talking. I need evidence. Hi, um, how are you? He had the woman but come the on voice camera. Thing. Yes, he lives yes. close by, but we never met up with him because we just we did a virtual chatted. one because it was the pandemic. Oh my god! He was talking to finance Brian. Brian with a Y. Brian was talking to to Stephanie. What was her name? Stephanie! It was Stephanie! It was oh my god! Son of a bitch! What? It's gotta be him. Brian was also on TikTok, just like Jacob. Jesus. Both cute young guys. Catfishing straight young men. And Isaac said that he knew how to turn them. In the past, I've catfished, and I go for straight guys. I've came clean to them, and it ended up being a relationship. Well, Isaac, even though you've done it in the past and it's worked out for you, that doesn't make it right. You are perpetuating the stereotype that gay guys are out to turn straight men. And I got on his ass, and here we are again. We clearly didn't get through to him. Jacob earlier said, if it's a guy, right. I'm going to knock him out. We can't bring Jacob to that. There's no way. Maybe we should go over there first. Make yeah. sure that whoever it is is cool and not going to blow things up with Jacob. Yeah. And then potentially tomorrow bring Jacob to meet up. Yeah, clearly. Because Isaac, didn't he have, wasn't he also like sassy with Brian? I see it differently. We know you see it differently. What is love? If Brian ever gets that wild hair in his ass and you know he wants to call Stephanie, I'm still here. But luckily, Brian was chill. Handled it very, and very wasn't well. Wasn't in the room. Exactly. All right. Here goes nothing. Oh my God. All right. Go on, E. It's on you. I'm not going over there. I saw someone in there. 
Oh, there is a side door over there. How do you even get to it? <gasps> oh, oh, someone's coming. Someone's coming. Oh, hey guys. Oh God. Isaac, bring your ass oh, on outside. Oh my God. Come on. Mm -hmm. You got you got your your runway. Yeah, Here it is. Go. Give us the show, Isaac. Mm-hmm. Careful. Steady. What's the look? What's it giving? It's giving wedding. To to Jacob. Looks more like a funeral. Well, thankfully he didn't come because I don't think that he needs to be a part of your circus. Well, that's unfortunate because I feel like that we could definitely work something out. There's no way. In your eyes, but in my eyes, it's a Isaac. Has he ever given you any indication that he would be interested in men? No, but that'd be a question I'd have to ask because we never, it, it never got to that. So you talked to him for nine months and you didn't figure that out? No. Then maybe you should start dating as yourself oh. and stop playing these games. In your eyes, it's probably gonna be like a game, but it's not a game to me. I really do care about him. And but Jacob's, even, and even if Jacob were gay, he's 18, you're like 40. Uh -huh. He's too young for you. You should be dating men Men. Says who? It's just weird, it's inappropriate. But it's not even just his age that's inappropriate. Everything that you've been doing is inappropriate. We talked about this already. This is how I am though. And I know that people are not gonna, you know, accept certain things, but they can always walk away. They have the option right after that. But they don't have the option for the nine months that they've been talking to you. It's not cool to constantly be setting traps for people, despite the clear identification that people make for their own sexuality, you choose to trick them into these relationships and then be like, hey, it's actually been me the whole time. You guys don't see the, you don't see what's behind the eyes of like the catfish. We go through a lot of pain and we express ourselves in different ways. I totally feel you on that, but I'm gonna tell you right now, nobody gives a about your pain when you come like this with the theatrics. Okay, that's, that, that sounds great, but I was talking to Neve. Like, well, that's okay. and, All right, right. Well, well, look. I'm talking to you now. Right. So well, look, what I'm, I'm I, saying, well, I was talking to Neve, what I'm so saying I still stands. You're lucky that saying. you're talking on the show at all, again. The problem is that I think you're a clown, and I think that your behavior is clown behavior, and you are hurting a lot of people. Does Jacob deserve that? Jacob's been up all day, and not once did you ask about him, so do you actually care about him? I do care about him. No, this doesn't feel like the type of introduction someone who knew Jacob and cared about him and was hoping to make their case and to say, hey, look, I know I lied to you, but I'm actually a really sweet person who cares about you. Like, this to me says, like, it's my show. This is on TV. This is my spotlight. I don't give a shit about you. I'm just not I'm just Well, that's what I'm just saying. That's, that's like, what it's giving. That's what it's giving. I really do want to talk to him, and I really do want to see him. I do care about him, even though others don't think so. All right, well, anyway, let us talk to Jacob. I don't want you to get too cold, because if you're, I'm cold, you must be cold. You look good, though, Kevin. Thank you. All right. You look we'll, gorgeous, and I wish that you would do this it. all we the look, time, yeah. as you. I know. You but know I'm not with the other You're a beautiful girl. Thank you, you know, Isaac. You just, you just have an ugly soul. Let's go back to LA. Bye, you guys have a good one. Don't trip, baby. Walk slow. Uh, this mother is crazy.